Welcome to FL Studio Mobile. Today we're looking at the keyboard tab. The first thing to know is that this tab changes. If you have a step type instrument selected on the tracks tab, it changes to drum pads. If you have a piano instrument selected, it changes to keyboard. First up, if you're a keyboard player, you may want some velocity sensitivity. At the moment, I don't have that, so I'll select the setup tab and then keyboard and velocity control. There's also a number of other options useful for keyboard playing. Now to get velocity, I can move vertically up and down the key. Up is piano and down is forte. You may have noticed that when I played here, I didn't get any sound. To turn that on, allow touches between black keys on the setup keyboard tab. You'll find turning it off helps most on the iPhone and iPod touch. By clicking the zoom button, you can fill the screen with a keyboard, again useful on the smaller devices. But some of the most useful features are under the keyboard button. You can jump up and down octaves with these buttons, or you can drag along here. You can add a second keyboard with this button, and then touch the upper or lower keyboard to make changes to that layer. Usually, you'll zoom and scroll up here but while you're on this screen, you can do it on the keyboard itself. While you're in performance mode, the last keyboard touched is the one you can zoom and scroll. Generally, you'll use the upper and lower keyboards for playing different octaves. Now I can play a wider range. Back to the keyboard button, you can also label notes, which is handy if you need some help with note names. With that, enjoy using the keyboard tab in FL Studio Mobile.